What's good YouTube, it's your boy OG Ryan here back with another video. Now today guys, I'm gonna be doing the top 10 things to do or to like remember or think about before 2019 ends and before we begin the new decade with going into 2020. So yeah guys, with that being said, go like this video right now, comment down below, let me know what you want me to do next. It could be a would you rather, I could do another Tinder profile or a reaction. Low key, um, I would love to try to uh, think of like a new prank to do, you feel me? So yeah, and then um, go subscribe if you're new, join the OG family. But yeah guys, let's just get into this video right now. So I have all 10 of these on my phone, and as I'm saying them, I will be putting them up here as well, like what number they are, so yeah. Number one is going to be basically clean your room, because let's be honest, bro, like, unless someone tells you to, or you don't do it on your own, then I know your room is not clean, bro. Like, I'm talking about even, like, the dust, even, like, vacuuming, even, like, those things, too. Cleaning your room does not just mean, oh, you don't have, like, no clothes and stuff on the floor, you know? There's still a lot more things you need to do. So that is a big one. And low-key, as long as you just, like, set aside, like, maybe an hour or two for it, it's not that bad, bro. Like, think about it. Only, like, in one to two hours and you have a clean room now. Checked off the list. You feel me? It doesn't, it doesn't take that long. So on to number two. I have set mini goals for next year. So let's say, um, well, right now, today's the what? The 28th. So before we get to January 1st into 2020, right now, write down like small goals that you would like to achieve that are achievable. Now, this is important because you don't want to write down hard, difficult, unachievable goals because don't reach those you're gonna be discouraged and that's not what you want you want small things that are easy to accomplish that way they'll get you like a like a small confidence booster so that's pretty key as well but on to number three number three i have get your health in order meaning now it you could take this as in a way like going to the doctor or things like that too but I'm talking about it is in a way, like as far as like vaping and stuff like that too. I'm not saying, oh, uh, like quit and stuff like that. I'm just saying like, maybe if you're doing like, mm, I don't even know how, how much Nick the Jewels and stuff have. Because I haven't used those in a long time. I would use my, my uh, box mod. But even on that, I was like run on like six Nick or so. So what I mean is like, try to lower the, the uh, Nick. That way, your body isn't, like, fiending and, like, accustomed to the higher amount of Nick. You feel me? It's just small things like that, bro. Like, you won't notice it after a while because before, I will have uh, three Nick, and then I tried no Nick, and it didn't feel any different, even though there's no no Nick. So, yeah, just small things like that. If you can, you know, no one's not making you, like, only if you want to. But hey, on our number four. So number four, I have clean your phone, bro. Like low key, this this one's a good one too because I was just on my phone and I was like, bro, I have like over a thousand pictures and I know for a fact I don't ever look at these. You feel me? And I know a lot of them are probably due to YouTube now. So I could obviously just delete them, but I'm lazy, man. That's a, every freaking picture to look through and make sure, oh, can I delete this? Do I want to save this? That's annoying, dude. And that that's only pictures. Think about all those attachments and things you have in your, your messages with people. Those take up space, too. Those take up space, too. Like the voice memos, voicemails, the, everything takes up space. Everything does. Apps, app data. So, yeah, you should, should definitely go through... I think it's like settings, general, uh, shoot, I don't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, it'll show you like how much space you have and like what, what, what is taking up your space, just small things like that. But yeah, guys, on to number five, 
list 10 things you are grateful for. Now, I'm talking about this one before 2019 ends. Like before January 1st, write down 10 things you're grateful for. That way you can reflect and remember, you know, and take those things with you into the new year or new decade, if you want to call it. So again, with the 10 grateful things, um, yeah, that's what it was, right? Yeah, 10 things you're grateful for. Again, they don't have to be crazy major things. They could be like small things, you know, like grateful that like you're alive, you know, that could be like one, but hey, that, that one's mine. You can't take that one. So yeah, on to number six. Number six, I have list 10 accomplishments you are proud of. Again, it doesn't have to be anything major. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything crazy. It's just whatever you feel like you want to put down. So accomplishments can be, let's say, oh, you finish number one in a Fortnite what, like match, like you won. So yeah, that could be an accomplishment. You got 50 wins on solos, you know, small things like that now. Hey. So yeah, all right, so on to the next one. Where we are at number seven. Number seven is gonna be trying a new hobby that you haven't done. So for me, a hobby that I haven't tried, um, and y'all know I'm a pretty big sports person, so a hobby that I haven't tried, I've tried uh, basketball, football, baseball, Obviously, just like regular, like track running, you know, I've tried that. Um, I haven't done like tennis or golf and things like that. Like low key, I think it would be cool to learn that. I think it would be cool to learn that. Like tennis, I feel like I've tried it one time maybe, and I don't think I was that good at at it. But like again, that was probably when I was like smaller, you know, like not as much grown as I am now. So I promise you, if I were to try it now, I'd probably be a god at it. Not even gonna count. I'm a quick learner on that stuff. And then, like, I mean, I like to listen to music. So, new hobby? Let me know down below what would be a good new hobby to take up on. Like, drawing, painting. Um, people always say, oh, uh, go on Netflix and binge a, a, a new show or something like that. But I don't know what good show is out to watch. Like, I was just watching you. Like, the new season came out. I've already watched it all. So, yeah, it was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. Low key, I think season, season one was better. But, hey, this is top 10 things to do before 2019 ends. So, yeah, let's get back to it. So, on to number uh, eight. Pray for what you want to happen to you in 2020. Meaning, what do you want? Do you want to have a better life? Do you want better health? Do you have an addiction that you want to quit? Do you um, do you want more money? Do you want to do you not want to work at a job? Do you want to like make your own company? Do you want to sell your own product? Like, what do you want to do? You, you feel me? Like, set your pray for what you want to come in twenty twenty. Yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, on to number nine. Start to read a good book. Now, I'm no advocate for wanting to read or re read books and stuff like that. Because low-key, I was never a fan of reading books. I would always be the type that like, oh, can we like go watch the movie version of it? You know, I was never a big fan on reading. It just really depends. Like if it really, really sparks my interest, then sure. Then sure. And if the book is good, then yeah, sure. I'll, I will read it. But no, bro. Nope. It's got to appeal to me for me to want to read it. So, yeah. All right, guys. Oh. Damn, bro. All right, bet. So, this is the last one, and I literally just did it. Number 10 of the video, the last one, is to drink water. I've been doing this ever since I started YouTube, bro. You will always see this in every single one of my videos. I'm always drinking water like no cap. <clears throat> but yeah. So yeah, guys. That's going to do it for my top 10 things to do before 2020 ends. I meant before 2019 ends, before 2020 starts. So yeah. 
Thank you for watching. Go like this video right now. Comment down below. Let me know if you are going to be trying any one of those things. And finally, go subscribe if you're new. Join the OG family. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Have a great rest of your day. And I'm out.